you have a question, please raise your hand. Thank you. We'll call on you. Hello. All right, Christian, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Carol, go ahead and take it away. Hey, Coach. Um, hey. First of all, just um, if you could address the starting lineup, you obviously made some interesting choices. I just wondered about Swiderski being out, first of all. No, yeah, I decided to go with this lineup because uh, I... I thought uh, I see certain things in training. I thought Dami was working really well uh, and he deserved the chance to play the way the way he trained. And, uh, and then I wanted to try this uh, with Ben uh, as an attacking midfielder. So, and then I decided to, to give, because uh, I saw also, to be fair, I saw Carol quite tired at the last, uh, at the end of the last game, and but it's a, it was a it was a choice uh, based on also what I see during the training, and uh, I saw Danny pretty sharp, and uh, I thought that he was I thought that he played well in my opinion, Danny. And just obviously your thoughts on the game again. It looked like second half really got some chances, and then mistakes cost you the game. This is our this is our story at the moment. Uh, I think also in the first half, um, in my opinion, again, as I said uh, in the past, I might be biased, but in my opinion, uh, we were the better team in the first half as well. We conceded on uh, on a corner against the run of play. I think we had uh, uh, the chances. Maybe we should have been a little bit more uh, a little bit more forceful and a little bit more clinical to create better chances in the first half because I thought that we had certainly the possession. I could see that Cincinnati, um, we had the game plan and I think the boys were really good in putting it in place. And uh, if anything, I thought that we should have uh, we should have been a little bit more clinical in the first half. Second half uh, was the, uh, more of the same. One moment, uh, one mistake, and we get punished. This is uh, what, the way it goes at the moment. I feel, I feel it's very, it's very unjust for for our boys that they not just they play with uh, with intensity, but they also they play well, in my opinion. And uh, to come out for the second game in a row with nothing, uh, it's totally against the run of play. But I understand football is like that, and we need to we need to address uh, the, the goals that we conceded and how we can improve uh, in the last third. Um, and so starting starting from me, looking in the mirror, and we have to try to improve uh, again. It is the moment to keep the head down and keep working. I want the boys to keep working, to keep working with intensity and even more because this game should make everybody even more determined and even more angry given that we come back home with nothing in the game that, in my opinion, we, we dominated. One more quick one, just about the, the mistake between Kalina and Santos. It's hard to tell on TV, you know, who, you know, if, if the pass, pass was ill to begin with to get it to him or, if, you know, he was surprised or what happened there? Yeah, it was a misunderstanding. Unfortunately, Nuno was caught on the ball and these kind of mistakes... Uh, we know when you build from the back uh, quite costly. Nuno just arrived, uh, arrived, and is uh, the you know the the kind of uh, linking that you have with your teammates obviously get better and better with time. Unfortunately, this mistake uh, happens at the wrong time, at the, at the very bad time again, again against the run of play, and we conceded the second goal out of out of nothing with the ball in our control. And this is a situation that we need to improve. We need to be even in that situation more clinical because it's not. Uh, it, it happened a couple of times in the past, and uh, we want to avoid. But I think the general we played well from the back. We didn't have even even when we were pressed. And uh, but we will get better. We will get better with that. Um, 
you know, and uh, it takes time for everybody to adjust. It just uh, this is a situation of when we make a mistake, we get punished straight away. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Steve. Yeah, and Carol, just so you're clear, Kalina played the ball to walks and then walks played the ball to Santos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, on that. Um, coach, uh, in, in regards, I mean, it was very similar to Toronto in, in other games where Charlotte dominated possession. Uh, the bigger difference against Toronto, you were clear, creating clear chances that took some exceptional saves and blocks to uh, prevent Charlotte getting on the board. Tonight, there was only two shots on target. And if Brantz was the, the most dangerous of that, um, the defender got it, but the keeper was right behind him. So that wasn't going to go further anyway. And, but my question here is sometimes it's, it's on the offense and other times it's just great defense as it was with Toronto preventing, you know, any goals there. Did, did, you, did you see that? I mean, tonight, did you feel that not getting the shots on target and creating those chances was more on Charlotte or was some of that created, you know, by Cincinnati's defense? In my opinion, both, both. We know that Cincinnati is a strong team in the box, how to defend the cross, we know that. But I think that eventually, when you create enough chances, you will have uh, the, you, have, you don't have to give up just because you cross the ball three or four times and they, they clear the ball every time. You have to keep, uh, to be resilient. We see also in, uh, in many other games where the team that is more resilient in the end will find a way, a breakthrough. So this is a one part of the game that I want, that I explained in the past. I want our boys to be more determined, more resilient, because not always that uh, you cross the ball and you find the goal, especially when they have a three central defenders really experienced in the, in the league, really strong in the air, and they used to play against this kind of uh, game. Uh, I thought that when Brandt was through, yes, maybe the goalkeeper was behind it, but when you shoot from five or six yards, you know, it, it, we don't know how Brandt would have shot, could have put the ball, uh, you know, in the, near, the, near the corner. But apart from that, I think that we had uh, enough possession, but not just the possession, because uh, to have possession sometimes uh, doesn't mean that you are controlling the game. I thought that we had possession in the right areas, uh, really high on the pitch. We put the ball a few times into the box and we need to be more determined to attack it. We had a chance also with Andre with a header from a corner that I thought it was a, it was a clear one towards the end. But uh, again, we need to improve that part of the game where, and we work on a weekly basis on that to, to attack the goal, to put the ball in the box. And uh, there is a, an element of us that we need to improve, of course. And there is an element of Cincinnati that they play well in those situations. But uh, all in all, I think that we had enough possession in the right areas to create chances to win the game. Yeah, and with Cincinnati in the first half, their, their, real, their only sustained attack was like from the 37th minute through the end of the half where they yeah. got the first corner kick, then the, they scored on the second, then they got two more. Um, and it was just kind of Charlotte was on its heels for a bit. Then in the second half too, um, in the run of play, I, I mean, the passing uh, game seems to be there. Uh, I mean, Charlotte was controlling all of that. Um, and again, an, another, you know, mistake, but that's, you know, that's part of the game there. Um, it's, it, you know, sometimes you can't always prevent mistakes, even if you're playing well. So it's, it's a matter of having the resilience to come back after them. Uh, yeah, that. not just that, Steve. Not, it's not just about the mistakes. The mistakes uh, are part of, uh, of part of life, are part of, uh, of, and obviously are part of football. Uh, you can't prevent mistakes, even if you're playing well. And I think uh, when, when the results don't come, uh, you think... Yeah, you play with a little bit more, um, not with the same freedom or with the same kind of confidence that you would, especially for a young team like ours. Uh, at the same time, it's important when you have your chances to make them count, to play as strong as possible, as determined as possible, so that when they come to you, uh, you make them count because there will be moments in the game in which you cannot be dominant like you are in others. 
And so I thought that we were dominant for a long period of the game, so to make it count. And even the biggest team in the, in the world, they cannot be dominant for 90 minutes. There will be always a moment in the game in which they have to concede, either a counter-attack or a spell for the opposition. So unfortunately, as, a, as I said before, this is a moment in which we make a mistake, we pay. And this is a moment that has gone on for a long time, this. Uh, in my experience, this is maybe the first time that you know, every mistake we make, it goes, it goes in. And when we have a chance to score goals, we don't. And so it's a little bit frustrating for all of us because I can assure you that the boys put a lot of, uh, a lot of effort and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, trying, a lot of uh, thinking, a lot of uh, hard work in what they do because they want to do well for this football club. All right. right. And, and we'll just if uh, the last thing is because he's going to be coming up. If you could just comment on the play of Kerwin Vargas today. Kerwin is a young player. He's, uh, he put a lot of energy in what he does. He was very good also in the duty that we gave him uh, in terms of uh, defensive duty in the pressing. I'm happy with uh, the way Kerwin played. Uh, and I can see a player that is improving on, uh, on a daily basis and is, he will be better and better for this football club. I have no doubt about it. Thank you. All right, Sam, real quickly before Kerwin. Yeah, um, I'll keep it to one question, Coach. Mm -hmm. I want to go back to what Carol asked about the lineup. Um, you know, obviously, I think there's going to be a lot of questions about it. I just wanted to ask, you know, what goes through your head picking a lineup um, that, that's not what we've had before uh, when a lot of the season, um, you know, seems to be on the line with this game? When the season seems to be? Uh, when, when, when this is such an important game for playoffs, table, etc. I always try to pick the the eleven that I believe will give this football club the best chance to get the results. And uh, I don't think it's about one player. I think it's about the team. So I know you want to go to create this situation about Carol. I really don't see that Carol is one player. is is an important player for us. But he's one player of this team, and uh, uh, and I don't want, And I think that Danny that played in his uh, in his position, I did well. And I also wanted to see Carol in a different position as an attacking as an attacking player behind the number nine. Uh, and so I think that uh, that was uh, uh, my choice is always to try to give. Uh, the boys the best chance to win the game. If I don't get it right, obviously it will stop with me and I take all the responsibility with that, without, without a doubt. But I don't want this to become about one player. It's still about the team. It's still about us. It's still about uh, going into the next game with the same will to win and to, and to work hard that uh, we have shown in, the last, uh, in, the la in, in all the games that we play, really. Thank you, Kevin. Safe travels. Thank you, Christian. We have uh, Kerwin here. Uh, with Gwen. So Gwen will translate. Thank you, Christian. You're good. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Yep. Guys.